Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Ryan Rigg here, host of your show using the iPhone 5S hand holding that, so don't mind the quality. It was kind of a team fell, someone reached out to us, they said, hey, I bought this used cooler, had a radio in it, had some speakers, they spent just a couple of bucks on it, asked me if I could take a look at it and restore it. Good thing for them, this is kind of right up my alley, so I'm actually going to clean up all these wires. I've spent the, a greater little bit of time cleaning up the cooler, that was actually entirely brown. The top was brown there as well, so got that all cleaned up. What I'm actually doing, if you guys saw on Project Raphael, we swapped the battery out. So I actually cleaned that old battery up, and I'm actually going to be using that. This is not Marine Ready. Um, I was going to do Marine Ready battery as well as Marine Ready CD player, but I'm trying to keep the cost down for the customer, so I warned them this will keep your cost down, so I'm just going to give the battery to them for free. And if it goes in the water, it's a one and done. So they know that going into it, and that's how we were able to keep the cost down. Some other things I'm going to be using in today's installation, just some assorted connectors that I picked up. I have some, but I just needed some more. I've got some uh, really nice battery terminals there that we're going to use. These are all cost-effective items, guys. I've got some smaller uh, wood screws here. The reason is I don't want to penetrate the sides of that cooler. So that's why I'm going with those. But we've got a couple of cover panels there. We've got some wiring. I just uh, did an unboxing and first look of a very reasonably priced CD player if you're trying to do something similar, which is the uh, dual brand XDM260. This actually features uh, USB input as well as auxiliary input on the front. So we're actually going to be using that uh, for the cooler. So I'm actually going to be getting that installed. I'm um, getting the battery installed. The battery goes down in there. And then we've got this, uh, grab this little compartment here. This little compartment I got is going to go in here on the side. So we'll have the battery. I'm going to clean all that up. And then there's cover boards there. But yeah, just something she kind of gave me. I told her, yeah, I would definitely work on that for. And thought it was most definitely a team fell project. So don't want to... I apologize up front for the shakiness and quality of the video, but I wanted you guys to participate in this little project. So I'll make this just one video, kind of Team Fell reworks a cooler style. So you know how I do. This is your boy, Ryan Rig. So we'll just keep adding to this video. All right, guys, I got the new uh, chassis on there. It's actually sec secured to this board via four screws. I just went through the top here. One, two, three, four. Obviously, before the unit was installed there. I'll go ahead and pull this out. I'll show you. Like I said, this isn't brand new. I'm reworking this for somebody else, so I would have gone about it a different way. But I got four screws there in the bottom just to keep that secure. And then, then we can just slide that back in and I'll lock it in. I'm just dry fitting everything and dry fitting the connections. But it's moving right along. Team Fell Cooler Restoration. But I'm actually going to be building a, about two or three epic coolers. So you guys make sure you want to subscribe to our channel. You're going to see some of the coolest coolers you've ever seen. Uh, one of which we're actually going to do, I believe, a flip-out screen on as well. <laughs> Just doing a little testing here, a little dry one. Make sure i got all the wires set. Then I'm going to put the cover boards back on, get everything detailed out. Just doing, like I said, a test run, test configuration. Got a little auxiliary cable. It's actually the monster cable for my headphones. And got the iPad uh, mini, or iPad, this is uh, my iPad Air. So, there we go. For a couple of speakers, not bad, you know? Alright guys, so we got uh, some more progress done here. We are done. This is, like I said, a refresh for a, a customer, aka a friend. I'll be actually uh, building one of these myself. A couple different models, TV screens, LED lights, all that. So if you guys like these cooler videos, let me know. Give me a thumbs up now. What I got here is just an iPad uh, plugged in with the headphone jack there. A couple speakers up top. Like I said, this was given to me from a friend. She asked me, it, you know, save her a few bucks and rework it. I... These are the speakers that were installed. Everything that you see here was already installed. A switch and a cigarette lighter adapter. Those have actually waterlogged out. So I'm going to, uh, she didn't want to pay to replace those. She just more or less wanted a, a tunes and a stereo. You know what I mean? So when we open this up here, you can see we got a chain here. This holds the top of the lid up there because obviously there's a lot of weight now with the speakers. Speakers are hidden there then behind cardboard cover panel. We got a cardboard uh, trim panel here. You can just kind of pop this up. And then below there, we got uh, just, a, it's actually a trash can there, just a, for storage, a CD case there. We can keep an extra roll of electrical tape. We got the battery in there. Then we got our connections here, negative and positive. We got another little kind of trim ring around the head unit there. And then access still to our wires, which are all behind here. All nice and buttoned up and clean. Like I said, this is not marine ready, so she's been warned that if it gets wet, it's done. But... I gave her the battery for free, and the head unit was only about 50 bucks, so definitely some good savings there. 
All the wires are all buttoned up clean. Nice little uh, trim panel that goes around here. So let me go ahead and actually just uh, button all this back up here real quick. So we got it all buttoned up there and you can see the cover panels are on place. Now the only thing that's hanging out there is just the auxiliary cable there for our head unit, which is plugged into the iPad. Adjust the volume. Bring it all the way up there. We have our iPad here. And I think that's what you call a refresh cooler, guys. Like I said, go ahead and subscribe to the channel now. I'm going to be building a couple of these custom jobbies because I know you guys are going to be interested in seeing that pull handle and on wheels. Off we go. So, and then the other thing I'll actually have is I'll just use a. Uh, all-purpose charger there then we can keep that battery nice and tended and charged but yeah what do you guys think let me know give me a thumbs up below if you like this video that epic custom cooler install with speakers and auxiliary i'm ryan rig the host of your show because he brings you fast electronic and of course loud things like this thanks for watching guys we'll see you on the next episode